You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face. Doesn't have the hat on that he wears on the day of the Champions Fighting Cancer Walk, but we'll see that soon. You sure Jeff will. Miller, welcome, Jeff. <laughs> nice Mark, to see thanks you. Thanks for having me. Um, we are at the 18th annual Champions Fighting Cancer Walk. I remember the first because we've been covering this event from yeah, day you one. Have. Yeah. And this year, it's kind of even more exciting because you folks are building a full comprehensive cancer center over it. That's correct. Health. That's correct. Talk about this event. I know it started out with, uh, in memory of Mrs. Sullivan. Yep, Bob Sullivan, who's one of the board members of Signature Healthcare, has been for a very long time, and uh, part of the Sullivan Tire family. He uh, lost his, uh, his first wife to breast cancer, and he wanted to partner with the hospital to raise some money and some awareness of people who had breast cancer and the walks evolved to a walk that uh, supports people with all types of all types of cancer mm -hmm. so it's a great community walk it's been going on this will be the 18th year and uh, we'll have a lot of fun and remember a lot of people as we walk through the city in, in honor of a lot of people who have battled cancer and and some who are who are battling it right now well, when you're out there in the community, I think everybody knows somebody affected by cancer, someone in their family, someone who's a friend of theirs, someone who they work with, and uh, we certainly have experienced all of those things right here at, at, at Brockton That's Community right. Access. Um, I know Mary Waldron has been one of your, your, your champions over she's there. She's been a great champion okay. for us, yeah. She does her own charity work, she, she but does. she's very big on this event. Yeah. And you can either walk from the high school or... Yeah. Or from, or from City Hall. Right, so you can take the long route or the short route. You can take the, the four and a half mile route or the one and a half mile route. So if you want to take the, the 4.5 mile route from the high school, you can walk, start walking anytime between 8 and 10.30. If you want to take the walk from, from City Hall, you can get to the high school anytime. Uh, we'll, we'll bus you down there mm -hmm. and you can walk from from City Hall down to down to the hospital. Now I know our own Jay Miller here, not to be confused with Jeff Miller. That's right. <laughs> okay, has walked it with a camera, walked in it, told his own personal story as yes. well. Um, everybody can get involved. It's not like the the big Jimmy Fun walk that you have a certain minimum amount of money That's that right. you have to raise. Is there a minimum? Am there I is involved? no minimum. This is truly a community walk. So okay. if, if you want to walk and you want to remember somebody or, or support somebody, you can come and walk. You don't have to, you don't have to pay anything. You know, obviously, we're looking for, for money to, because the money goes back into the community mm -hmm. uh, for our cancer center and to support people who are fighting cancer in the community. But if you, if you just want to walk and you aren't able to make a donation, come on out and walk. We'll be happy to have you join us for the day. Now, I know that it's not just the money to pay for the cancer care. I know it's supplemental. I know if people, you know, your ride to go there. I, right. And I know the Cancer Society does some of that stuff yep. as well. Yeah. But um, this particular one, I, I think I heard Mary tell the story that, um, you know, th there were costs beyond what your health insurance covers to That's get right. you That's to right. your cancer care. Yep. Tell us a little bit yeah, about so there, that. Yeah, so there are people first of all, who, who are coming for, for cancer care who really can't afford the co-pays. Mm -hmm. And there are people who can't afford the transportation. So if you were working, you're, you're a working mom, maybe you're a single working mom, and suddenly you find yourself with, with cancer and you have to come for treatment every day and you've lost your job for a couple of months and you're trying to take care of your children, how do you, how do, you do that? So some of the funding that, uh, that comes into the organization through the Cancer Walk and, and in other ways, we've established what we call the We Care Hope program, and that program is used to support people fighting cancer in the community. And similarly, the Sullivan, the Christine Sullivan uh, Foundation, they support uh, several different charities in the community, uh, the Ellie Fund, the Cancer Support Community of, of the South Shore, um, Live, Learn, Love, I believe, is the other charity. So they have several charities that, that they support that provide direct assistance to, to patients and their families who are battling cancer. Now the thing I noticed is the kind of the team spirit. You got people that remember individuals, there's whole families, there's people that are co-workers together and uh, all, those short, uh, all those stories are shared 
on that day. I know you kind of rally the troops That's at the right. end over at the hospital itself, and you have like a, a cookout, a hoedown. I That's think that right. might That's have right. anything to do with the hat. No, that's no. just a that's it's just, just a trademark just hat. Just a trademark hat for that for that day, yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, so tell us how people can get involved. I've seen the flyers all over the city, but yeah. web simple things like website, phone number, things like that. Yeah, so uh, signature hyphen healthcare dot org. Mm -hmm. You can go on our website and, and check it out and register there. Uh, you can call Darlene Sareva, who's our event coordinator at five zero eight nine four one. 7179-508-941-7179. Darlene will be happy to talk with you. Uh, we can send you out uh, a pledge form, uh, just give you general information on, on the walk. And the website itself has a comprehensive, it, it's all there, all the information is there. I went to look this morning right. about your starting time, yep. about the different locations. You, you couldn't make it easier to, to do yeah. that. And you can actually set up a team on the website, so if you wanted to sign up and invite your friends to participate, they can register online and raise raise funds online for for the cancer walk. Do you have a Facebook? We do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get you that info so you can put this up. Okay. And put Great. it out there and Great. let people know about it. Um, how exciting is the whole prospect of building a comprehensive cancer center right here in the city of Champions? I, I, I watch it as it's, it's going up. Absolutely, so exciting. We we're scheduled to have this building complete by October of this year. Mm -hmm. And we will have medic, me, a medical oncology and radiation oncology in the same building with totally coordinated care. We'll have a nurse navigator in, in the area. We'll have our own pharmacy, our own lab, everything all in one, all in one location here in Brockton. So people who currently go to Boston to receive their care will no longer have to, have to go to Boston. And this is done in conjunction with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and the Harvard Medical Faculty. So this is a, this is a top, top rate service right here for the people of Brockton. Yeah, those two uh, absolutely outstanding organizations. And uh, it's hard. I mean, I, I, I dealt with my dad and um, we, we had to make the choice. He wanted to stay as local as he could get. Mm -hmm. um, now there would have, would have been another option for That's us. Right. Um, That's right. And um, because I think the closest community-based hospital is um, South Shore. South Shore. That's so correct. you don't want to lose all the Brockton people at the That's South right. Shore because it's yeah. it's tough because not only are you there a certain amount of time, let's say for the chemo, but you got to get there, you got to yep. get back. I, I like the whole idea of the pharmacy right there. You get everything yeah. all under one roof, one, yeah. one stop shopping. So, what you do with with this walk also, you know, would would help that. Oh, in, most definitely. In, in most definitely. Yeah. So, anything that I didn't cover that yeah, you want to say? Yeah, I just wanted say? to say we're we're so fortunate uh, to have two great groups in the in the radiation oncology group that's been providing services at the hospital since I believe 1986. Mm -hmm. So they're moving over to this new building. We're fortunate enough to hire a gentleman by the name of Dr. Rolf Freider. Mm -hmm. He's a medical doctor and a PhD who came through us through the Dana-Farber system and worked at South Shore and uh, is very well known and very well respected for, for cancer care treatment in the area and, and he's brought his team with him. So we'll be going into this new building with um, him, he and his staff already in place. He's actually started seeing patients at Brockton Hospital in May of uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And he's, he and his staff have already seen over a thousand consults in, uh, for cancer patients. So the need is great in this area and we're, we're very happy to be able to bring this service here. Well, thanks for coming back. It's always thanks a pleasure for having to, us, Mark. Appreciate to help it. you promote it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.